I think this I think this is absolutely gorgeous okay hi guys it's me Quayla today we're going to be creating this beautiful little look if you want to see this look keep on watching boat because I am so excited about this look y'all I did create this look using the Anastasia prism palette it's a newer palette just came out like a month ago and so I did pick this up it is limited edition so I wanted to go ahead and get a couple of looks up so you guys can decide if you want to get it now before they sell out if you want it go get it let me give you a quick little peek inside of the um, of the palette now I gotta point out that uh, the subculture palette did come out a few months before this one they do have some similar shades and they do look similar um, they're not totally spot on we'll do another video for that but anyway I did create this look using this palette and I am so in love with the look I think the look is just ah like girl you got that everything look going on right now like you got that that sun glow looking look right now girl so if you want to see this look keep on watching don't forget to rate comment and subscribe let me know what you think down below and I can't wait to see you in my next video all right, now it's time for me to go have a date with my husband, so I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Hi, guys. So we're going to be doing our first look using the Prism palette. Um, as you can see, this eye is already done, so we're just going to go into this eye and get started. Now, I did already prime the eye with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in uh, Toffee. I did go ahead also and powder that with the medium black opal. Now I'm just going to take um, the fluffy brush from another Anastasia palette and I'm going to go first into uh, Saturn. That's this orange tone right here. I'm just going to pull Saturn uh, with the fluffy end of the brush and we're just going to go right into the crease area, transition crease area. And we're just going to take our time blending that out. Now what you want to do towards the outer V is you want to kind of fluff that out in like a like a wing type fashion and just continue to blend the rest of the areas. And you do want to blend towards the inner eye as well. I am really digging this look. It's so pretty um, and it's different from everybody that I've seen use this. They all wanted to go straight into the green because it's a, a different shade for Anastasia. She doesn't really um, veer off from the colors a lot. So the green, I'm sure a lot of people just went straight into that. I was like, I don't really want to do that. So let's try to find another look. And I am totally loving this look right here right now. When we're all done blending that in, we're going to go right into parallel and we're going to basically stack that right on top of the, well, right at, right on top of the orange that we just put down. Take that on your brush, tap that right there in that, in that outer area, and then just kind of sweep it nice and gently towards the inner area. And you are going to stack it over top of the orange, which is Saturn. But you're not going to cover all of it because as you can see i still leave some peeking out towards the bottom we really want it to be lightly blended in just because we want to just have a nice transition um, with these two colors um, that's the colors that i'm using for this transition and i really think that it just using the orange and the brown together usually just makes a really beautiful transition for me so i just love to put those two together Now I'm going back into Saturn. I'm going to tap that brush back into Saturn and I'm just going to go sweep lightly just right towards the bottom part of that brown and we're just going to deepen up that orange a little bit right under there that's peeking out. All right, so once we've got that, I did notice that this color Lucid looks gold when you put it onto the skin. So I decided to use that as my transition not my transition but my highlight color for the eye so I'm just gonna go ahead and take my dome uh, round dome brush and I'm just gonna put that into lucid right here and we're going to use that up here under the brow bone to highlight the brow bone going to use that on the inner eye. I'm just going to tap it lightly right now just to kind of start it out 
because I will be building up that inner eye uh, highlight. We're going back to the orange and the brown. We're gonna tap orange and brown this time. So we're gonna take Saturn and Parallel together, tap that, and then we're gonna go back into blending just to make sure that we uh, blend out the edges between the brow bone highlight and the transition. When you have it looking blended, it just looks better. It looks more put together. It looks like you took your time and you didn't just rush through your makeup uh, thinking that it was gonna be okay. Because to be honest, when you to be honest with you, when you step outside and your makeup ain't blended right, honey, you look a mess. So, and believe me, I've been there. I've I've done it. Even even times now, you know. But it's all about that blend. So you really want to get the blend together. That's why you take your time when blending. And I know sometimes these videos they're sped up and everything so that they don't take as long. Because otherwise we'd be taking 45 to 30 45 minutes to an hour for you guys to see how we put on the makeup and so we have to speed through it but just recognize and realize that we are taking a lot of time to do that blending and that's how you get that to look really good a fluffy brush is always best for blending for the blending process now we're going to go ahead and pick up our concealer and a flat brush a very flat thin brush i'm going to go ahead and put the concealer on the back of my hand and we're going to cut our crease tonight cutting the crease oh my god this is one of the things that i struggle with <laughs> So it's, I guess it's just about, it's all about practice. You know, you just gotta practice, you gotta work at it, you gotta do it, do it, do it, and then eventually you'll get better. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start out here on the outer area, and I'm literally just gonna pat this onto the lid, and then when I come to that crease area, I'm gonna be a little bit more, a little bit more particular about how I place it and uh, put it on. So now that we have the concealer placed down onto the eye, we are going to get a flat brush. We're gonna get two flat brushes, two different flat brushes. I didn't want the colors to mix too much, so that's why I used two different ones. We're gonna need our uh, setting spray, whatever you're using. Um, tonight, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Pixie Glow Mist because this is all I have. Literally, I'm out of setting spray, so it's an emergency in the house, so I'm using this. I'm gonna spray the brush and then I'm gonna shake it just a little bit and we're gonna go ahead and pick up Eden this pretty little shade right here kind of like a peachy orange apricot type color I'm gonna pick that up then we're gonna take that and we are going to put this all on the outer area and right up into the center of the lid so right up into that mobile lid area we're gonna go ahead and place pack that one. Just gonna keep on packing. If you need to pull more, do so. And just keep on packing. And you can even go a little bit past the mobile lid because of course that is going to be where you have to blend the two colors that we're going to put there. So we're just gonna go ahead and keep packing, packing, packing until you get a good enough shade or color that you're looking for until the tone is exactly what you want it to be. We're gonna grab that other flat brush that we discussed earlier. We're gonna spray that brush. We're gonna let that kind of dust off just a little bit, lightly tap that off. And then we're gonna take that and put that into Unity. And be careful, because Unity really flicked up a lot. Like it really wants to Unity really wants to uh, fall. It wants to be a fallout. Unity. So we're gonna take that and that is going to be the color on the inner area. And we're just gonna pack that on just like we did the other color. And you can go over that, that uh, what's it called, Eden a little bit because again, this is how we're gonna blend. So if you wanna get a good blend, tap it right lightly over top of that Eden, the edge of that Eden. As you're blending this, as you're patting this on, don't forget to get in the inner eye area. And just keep on packing that in, packing that on. Now, just in case you didn't already blend as you were putting that on, we're gonna go back with the brush that we used for Eden 
and we if you can pick up more if you want but you don't have to you can just take what's on the brush and you're just gonna pat over top of that center mobile lid area where we just were tapping the unity over and just this is how we're gonna get our good blend with these two colors is just keep going back and forth on top of the on top of that middle center section with the colors and then this is how it's gonna be beautifully blended and it's gonna give a really gradient look. I love, like, I'm loving the eye. It's kind of a really gradient type look. And the two shades together, honestly, are really pretty. It looks kind of summery. It looks kind of springy, if you want. If you can transition this look, I really feel like this look you can put in any season and it will, it will fit right into any season. So we're gonna go ahead and just keep on packing that on, blending that out, making sure this is, is really nicely blended. I'm gonna grab this brush right here. It's just a really fluffy brush. I'm gonna put it put it into Saturn, okay? And then I'm just gonna go ahead on the outer area and just pep, push that in there, almost like blending on the out area. Give it a little one last blend. All right, so I gave that one last blend. And because I'm extra, I'm gonna just go ahead and just make sure my cut crease was not wiped out by that blend. All right, so after we are all done with that, we are gonna take this dome brush one more time and we're gonna dip it in that Lucid one more time and we are going to tap that right up the center of this look. And this is gonna give it just a lightly shimmer to it, lightly shimmer it. This is not a, a glittery, super glittery, super shimmery look. This is literally just very subtle as far as the shimmer and glitter goes, but we gotta have some of that in there. So we just gonna tap it nice and neat, nice and nice and you know, subtly right here on the, the center of that lid. Give a little bit of shine where, you know, I'm gonna let you know I can shine on you, boo. But I ain't gonna take too much of that shine tonight. I'm gonna just let you know, prepare if you wanna play games with me, okay? Cause I can shine on you if I need to. And then, uh, of course, I'm gonna take that and put that on the inner lid, in the inner eye area, in the inner corner. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of this pyramid, dip that in there nice and gently, put that on top of, in the inner eye. Then one more time back in Lucid, the inner eye. And there we go. So now the eye look is all done. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, do my eyeliner and my lashes. For liner, I'm using the Wet n Wild Waterproof. So for tonight, I'm gonna pull out my um, Eyelore Vegas Name. Bronze Beauty eyelashes. We're gonna go ahead and pop that on. What kind of lippy should I do, guys? I don't know what lippy I should use on this look, so let me see. Hmm. I've got a gold lip that might be cute with this. I got this from Colored Grain. This might look really cute. This would be like a really pretty look. lip. And then I have, I do have a red lippy, but I'm not sure if I wanna do a red lippy with this look. Yeah, no, not red. sure how this would look. Mm, nah. mm. Oh, I do have this now. This is, this is um, Too Cute by Maybelline. And I think that's going to be a good lip. So I'll do that one and I'll actually, I'll actually put the um, gold one on top of it. So before I put the lashes on, I'm gonna take a little bit more glue and put that in the inner corners. And let that sit for just about 10 to 15 seconds. And now it's time to pop on this lash. So I'm gonna do this one with a tweezer. The other eye I did with my fingers, but um, this is my left eye, so let me just do this right, okay? Cause these lashes are too cute to be looking ugly on you, okay? So just do it right. And drop it right in the center. And then you go down and connect the ends. So just place it there for a second, then you wanna pinch it. Then you wanna pinch it to make sure that it is adhered to the lash line. Right, so while that dries, I'm gonna go in and take that Anastasia brush that I used. And I'm gonna go into parallel. I'm gonna take that on the 
outer corner of the lower lash line. this fluffy brush and then I'm gonna tap this into Saturn and that is where I'm gonna put this towards the inner under lower lash line kind of towards the center of the eye lightly sweeping that under to get that pigmentation all right so that is pretty much the eye look guys we are going to go ahead and pull out some lippies and see what we can come up with, Bo, to make this magic happen, okay? I am just in love with this eye look. I am so in love with it. It's so pretty. So let's do the brown. And this is actually the Black, black Radiance Perfect Precision Lip Line Crayon. And uh, let me get this in here. <laughs> We're going to be using the um, Vivid Hot Lacquer by Maybelline. This is called Too Cute. I'm just going to take this and put this on the lip. with this look let me clean up the edges though girl because it looks a crazy mess right now but yes boo yes okay ultimately the lip color is gorgeous with this look i'm feeling it so this is a definite gonna be a go-to look coming up around here lately because i'm loving this look right now all right so we are all done let me get my face a good spray here shake this up real well and Okay, everybody, so this is the final look after everything is done. I am loving this look. I think the eye turned out so beautiful. Again, this is my first look using the Prism Palette. I love the look. Honestly, I, I feel like it turned out really beautifully. I hope you like the look. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll wait. Yeah, boo, go on and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. When you hit the subscribe button, don't forget to hit the bell on the side so you can get notifications whenever I upload, okay? And after that, don't forget to watch my next video and my previous video. I will put something right here or right here so you can go ahead and just click on that and see another video. I want to thank you so much for watching today. Bye.